More family fun and frolics tonight at 8pm on The Benny Hill Show. But first, it's our friendly Thames men. Ta-da. Hello, how are we doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. I'm George, I'm in Los Angeles. Alexander San Francisco. <laughs> and uh, you reached a time to him with the, uh, the reaction channel mm-hmm. that um, is doing curated weeks, and this one's been especially good, huh? Oh, it's been actually way better than I could have imagined. Uh, you know, it was... We knew of Carol King, and we're doing Carol King Tapestry, the album Tapestry, and we're doing sort of five tracks out of that. And uh, thank you, Brian. Um, thank you, Chris, for helping us keep us organised. Um, and um, it has been astounding, absolutely yeah. astounding. We did a track um, some time ago, Carol King, um, and uh, we're honest about uh, how naive we were. And then Brian stepped forward, and our curator week's always pulled together by our subscribers. So thank you, Brian. Um, he picked five tracks and off the Tapestry album, and in every single track has completely gobsmacked us in terms of absolute talent of songwriting. Yeah, absolutely. And and the production is amazing, and just the emotion and the feeling and the timing has been ridiculous. So, so today we've got two videos. So mm. it's going to be uh, You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman, and then we'll have the bonus at the end. Mm. And Now, I know this song because not because of king because i think of other people singing it so right. i'm really interested to hear king and i I, di- I didn't know she wrote it yeah one of those things and so we we have some we have some notes about this song and about this production and so uh should i read them do you want to read yes, them yes please yeah okay. so in 67 atlantic records co-owner and famed record producer jerry wexler was working with aretha, aretha franklin on her next album wexler was troubled to him her album didn't have an obvious hit he looked out the window of his limousine jerry goffin and carol king were walking along the sidewalk he had the driver pull over rolled down his window and called out to them i'm looking for a big hit for aretha how about writing a song called natural woman after roughly 20 hours of constant work, they had a song. Upon arrival at their office the next morning, they recorded a demo version and took it to Wexler's office. Wexler loved it. What would Aretha think? Days later, a phone call came from Wexler's office. He asked them to meet with him. Wexler told them that Aretha didn't like the song. <laughs> she loved it. Aha, so I should have oh. read on. <laughs> oh, oh, tension there. Uh, in fact, she had already recorded it. Released in September of 67, Aretha Franklin's You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman reached number eight on the Billboard Hot 100 charts, as well as number two on the R&B chart. Carol King, quotes, covered the song on her Tapestry album. So, yeah, so two of the songs on the Tapestry album were songs that she had written for others and then she redid for herself. And so this, so we started the week uh, with... Um, uh the will you still love me tomorrow which uh was also a song that she covered of her own and then we finished the week on you make me feel like a natural woman the amount of talent this woman has got is is, uh, you know i I, it's unfathomable i mean this is the fifth track off an album yeah and she she's she's doing you know you make me feel like a natural woman i mean and also her songs they're she always has an emotive chord change in yeah. there. There's always one chord change that gets you that, oh, yeah. I wasn't ready for that. So, you know. Uh, well, let's I, see if she oh, does it God. again in her version of this song. Let's, cause yeah, this is, the emotive chord change. Oh, the emotive chord change. And also, I've always liked the way she's sort of like, I, I, you've got a probably a musical term for it because you're the musical one. But the way her vocals would sort of track along with the keyboard change, you know, the, like, which is obviously follow you sing along along. But it just there's a sort of there's such a tight link between what she's playing on the piano and what she's singing. And, and they just feel, feel like just so bonded. Anyway, so we'll see. Let's do it. All right. And ready? then hang around after this. Bonus. 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 And uh, I'll tell you now, it's Aretha Franklin. So the, the woman they wrote it for. Yeah. Excellent. Oh. All right. Let's do this. Nice. This is from the album. Carol King, you make me feel like a natural woman. Three, two, one. Boom. Looking out on the morning rain. There. That was the emotive chord change. 
I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. They're all emoting. schooled i've gone to church and just uh, had a religious experience i think you know uh, i think aretha's gonna take you back there and spank <laughs> you on the altar boy uh that was just i mean to sit i mean they did that in 20 hours they sat down and wrote that song those chord changes though it just it seems like uh they they never get a chord right they, they just are just absolutely perfect chords <laughs> it's funny that isn't it you know yeah it, it, it is it is you are in in the presence of pure genius yes and musical I agree. like you know like i say like joke about church i'm not a religious man that was the most uplifting positive strong song that that you could yeah absolutely make your anthem you know it's so it's just such a good track Oh, it's, it's, it's so amazingly written. I mean, the chords, again, emotive, emotive chord changes. She does these unbelievable emotive uh, chord changes, and she always resolves as well. She doesn't leave you on a... She always brings it back round. It's just, it's absolutely perfect. 
absolutely perfect yeah and, so, si- and simple in, in its perfection you know it's not overly <sighs> complicated you know which is the pure genius of it i think in some regards uh, I, don't know. You know, I don't know if it is complicated or not <laughs> it makes it look simple maybe yes uh, maybe yes you know. or you know all those because uh, i don't think it is simple actually because she puts all these little stabs in or whatever yeah. and uh i don't know who was playing bass but absolutely wow. fantastic as well so, so you had said on one of our other videos that, you know, the sign of a good pianist was a strong left hand. Mm. And, and the thing I thought was amazing about that recording was that the left hand was m- predominantly in my left ear and the right hand was predominantly in my right ear. And it was, I'd, I've never really noticed a, a sort of piano record. I'm sure they do it, but it was, the, it was the way it was balanced. Like her voice was straight down the middle and then the piano, you could, it was just separated out between the two sides and just it it, it wasn't a hole but it was sort of it spread across and and you you felt like you're in the middle of the piano i can tell you now she was doing full octaves on her left hand so uh uh, instead of just a single note she was doing that do 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 which is quite hard to do as well Uh, but uh yeah she was she's a good pianist yeah, that was fun. Even better songwriter. <laughs> right, so Aretha, oh. she wrote it for Aretha, right? Yeah. And then she went so, and had a huge hit with it. So yeah. yeah, absolutely. We don't have the we don't have the studio version. We have Aretha doing this um at live at the Kennedy uh center on it. So she's been uh, obviously she's been Oh, well, it might have been actually, it, was it either it was it might have been the Kennedy well we'll see, but it might have been the Kennedy Center Awards when they were honoring uh Carol um carol king right so sometimes that's how it works because other artists perform their songs if you remember so yes yeah yeah, yeah. i so. think you're right i think you're absolutely right all right well let's check it out you know because it was written for her um yep so are you ready oh god yeah <laughs> three two one boom one aretha franklin <laughs> Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Looking out on the morning rain, I used to dream. So uninspired When 
God. More with oh. Stephen Cole. Oh, oh my gosh. That brought, oh. a t- that brought a tear to my eye. Be oh no, that was I can absolutely abs- amazing. Brought a tear to my eyes as well. Absolutely. And all the hairs. Oh. All standing up. That was unbelievable. On so many levels. Like, just like, uh, you know, just A, the, the performance. You know, and it was, I, I don't know how old Aretha Franklin is there, but oh my God, she can still sing. I mean, I, I could do a week of Aretha Franklin if, you know, just exactly to see that what talent. I thought as well. I just thought like, next week we should do a Aretha Franklin week. It was unbelievable. That was just so good. But then just in that audience, oh my God, was ridiculous. Yeah, but what a performance of it! And then, I mean, she she was she was a, the, such a performer. I mean, a great piano player, and she had great voice, and you know. And then, then she took off the fur coat and stood out. And a James oh my. Brown moment, you know, wasn't it? You know, it yeah, was, uh, uh, you know. And then, and then she just let loose, and the crowd went up with her, and it was really so emotional. And there was Carol. Oh my God, it was amazing! What an amazing week! What an amazing Fantastic. songwriter. What an amazing end to this. And we, both of us, are going out to get Carol King's <laughs> Tapestry. They're going to sell a couple more copies, I think. Definitely. Yeah. Right now, you know. So, um, you know, I wasn't ready for her when I was younger. Yeah. And, you know, I am now. And I'm just completely blown away. Absolutely Humbled. masterful. Just, yeah. oh, my God. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, everyone who supports us. Because we wouldn't get a chance to do this if it wasn't for all of you guys and girls. You know, it, it is that's what makes us allows us to sit here and have the luxury of just listening to these things. Thank you, and uh, Aretha Franklin. Who's going to step up and do an Aretha Franklin week? Oh, you, yeah. It, I bet you she's got some amazing stuff to look at. I'm abs- I'm absolutely emotionally exhausted from this week, and 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 is uh, that yeah. That, that, just, that just caps it off really doesn't it you know, me off. I'm, I'm, I'm off I'm out I'm off to bed now I'm done I'm I, can't, I can't do anything else <laughs> I'm off to find my teddy bear <laughs> alright thank you very much love that absolutely as you can tell we are absolutely blown away and um, you truly, know truly yeah. truly truly take well, care like, like subscribe uh, and join us on the journeys and we thank you alright take care cheers